Hi, I'm Joe Tolma. I am a uh, parishioner here at St. Thomas More. Um, for a long time, I was not part of any sort of church. Uh, I grew up um, Reformed Christian. Uh, at eighth grade, we did confirmation, and away we went. Um, my folks really didn't push it. My mother was Catholic. Um, however, she was not practicing at the time. I decided when my wife got pregnant with our first child that it would be important for us to raise the child um, with a belief and I had promised the priest when we got married that I would raise my children Catholic. So I started the RCIA program and about halfway through that program uh, we lost the baby. Um, and I can say for a fact that my life's trajectory without RCIA would be much different. Um, I ended up completing the program and finding an incredible source of comfort um, from, you know, from Jesus who, you know, I never met, but obviously it was a great place and a great person to talk to. Out of my six siblings, five of us have ended up becoming Catholic. Um, four of us married Catholics and I think it was a really good experience. Uh, we had a really excellent nun who taught me to pray the rosary, and I've been praying the rosary almost daily um, since then. So it brings me a lot of peace and a lot of strength and a lot of help that, you know, I, I, if you have nowhere to lean, it's an excellent spot to lean, right? Um, you don't have to do everything yourself and you never, you know, walk alone when you go through this experience. Um, I've also found a lot of great community in the church. Um, just fellowship opportunities, service opportunities, being part of something larger than just your own thing, right? And I think that's something that the world lacks incredibly right now, um, is opportunities for people to be part of something that is ancient, but also very relevant. I think one good thing about becoming Catholic was if I wasn't Catholic, I don't think a lot of the things that we have faced that have been like hardships, like putting my thoughts toward a hardship is being scourged at the pillar, right? A hardship is carrying a cross. A hardship is being crucified and dying for what you believe. A hardship is trying to be an apostle of something when everybody says you're crazy, right? Like that's nuts. Like that's not what we believe as Jews. That's not what we believe as Gentiles or, or whatever, you know, the people at the time were thinking. So framing, you know, hardships and experiences incredibly helpful to me in my life. Other benefits, I think, are the ability to, you know, see beyond, like today. When I say today, I mean this, the mortal coil that we're in right now and see to something else after this. And a lot of people that I know, I went to a liberal arts college, very scientific, Joe, you're crazy, there's nothing after this. I don't wanna live like that. I would love to think that I will see the people that I love again, you know, forever. See beyond today and into a future that is eternal, which is amazing. So if you're thinking about something that's eternal, you're gonna to wanna to do your very best now so that you can have your very best when, when this passes, right? So um, another, another perspective that I think is important is going to church as a man and a father is incredibly important to your children. Um, growing up and having just mom take the kids to church, that doesn't say much for God, right? So if dad is not invested in going to church with his kids and his wife, that's not a good, that's not a good, a good message to send because it says it's not important, right? You know, Sunday, is not is not football it's not you know yard work it's not a lot of things it's it's a time to come together with your family and do things together and i think attending mass together is probably the highlight of my sunday i, I get to be with my children we get to hear the things that we believe and we get to practice those things so it's incredibly important as a man in the church that you're present and you do the things that are, are expected, as well as like going beyond. There's a lot of coincidences that seem to happen that have really solidified my beliefs. Um, 
Again, a lot of people say that you're crazy, but when my mother was passing, she wanted, she wanted to have confession. And so I, I went and I grabbed uh, one of the Carmelites who was at the hospital. And after 40 some years, she made a confession. When my mom was dying um, in her last days, she said, you know, she talked about my son. I don't have a son, I have three daughters. The child that we lost was a boy, right? No one knew that, my mom didn't know that. So knowing that I will get to see that child again, enormous. And she also was very happy that she had made a good confession after all those years, after being sort of fallen away from the church, and it gave her a lot of peace. I really think Catholicism is the truest form of Christianity, and I really enjoy the traditions and I really enjoy the ceremony that goes into the Mass. A lot of people say it's quick. I'm like, that's great, but I think what you get in that 45 minutes to an hour, depending, um, is truly what it would be like to be in the presence of God.